Good morning. I'm going to claim this assignment every year. Nobody else can have it. Sorry, guys. So, of, of course, automotive and safety are two big themes here at CES, and we're going to combine them both right now. We are talking with uh, the Vice President of Product, Aaron Jefferson from Luminar. Tell me a little bit about your product. We have a test drive that we're going to watch in just a minute, yes. but give us an idea of what we're about to see. So what you're about to see is our iris LiDAR sensor, our production sensor going into production this year, and it is a long-range, uh, high-resolution LiDAR sensor really designed to detect objects far away. And what you're going to see here today is you're going to see today's technology radar camera fusion systems versus what our LiDAR can do, detect an object and stop the vehicle safely. So it's really a comparison between two different technologies, and LiDAR is, is where it's at. So one of these vehicles has your product in it, and it's going to stop. The other just blows right through right. the pedestrian who is in the street. We right. have these test uh, test dummies size of kids, yes. size of adults. Tell me about yeah. the testing process that so we the, just saw. So what you're seeing here is you, we have existing systems today, end caps and things that are, are designed to maybe slow the vehicle down and try to mitigate an accident. But what we're really trying to do is understand fatalities happen at night, they happen at higher speeds, they happen in inclement weather. And that's what our LiDAR delivers. You're really seeing the, the uh, sensing technology. You're not, it's not a moving dummy. You're seeing the, 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 the child there. Uh, so the vehicle should be able to detect it. And so that LiDAR can detect it since it's not moving, it's something we want to avoid, and it stops the vehicle. When is this going to be available in vehicles? For consumers who see this and say, oh my goodness, I need that kind of safety and feature. Right, so we have announced awards with Polestar, uh, Volvo and the EX90 and the EV lineup, and then also um, with SAIC in China. So we have our awarded business, we have additional business that we're pursuing. Um, it's, it's a really a key technology for proactive safety and also for highway autonomy and it's getting a lot of traction and you'll see it uh, in your showrooms very soon. When somebody is looking at a safety feature like this, is there a certain question that you would say you need to ask your car dealer about? Yes, simple. Do you have Luminar technology? <laughs> it's that simple. Um, and give me a quick idea. So we have some other tests yes. um, throughout the day. It's not just the side-by-side. -side. What are other people going to see as they're out here at this test track? So other people are going to see a curve scenario where a dummy comes behind the vehicle. So it's like a hidden object. It comes from behind, behind the vehicle late that a lot of sensing technologies can't detect. So you'll see the vehicle stop for that. Uh, you'll see a scooter because a lot of, uh, say, AI systems for camera are based on moving arms and legs. But you see people ride on scooters and e-scooters all the time. So that is a new scenario that you have to test for. And then later in the day, you'll see a test at night where um, it's pretty dark out here. We can have the lights on, we can have the lights off, and the system still performs just the same. Awesome. Aaron, thank you so much for thank sharing you. this cool technology with us. We appreciate your time. You. Uh, Scott, there are some other uh, test tracks out here, too, so we're going to go check those out. I know you're interested.